Hi folks, Astronomy Live here, once again covering the stereo behind images from 2007 as the spacecraft was leaving the Earth-Moon system and the Moon transited through both the coronagraph imagers and the extreme UV imagers. Now, it's recently been claimed that I said that uh, the Moon was orbiting the Sun in these images, which is why you don't see the Earth, just the Moon. But of course, that's silly. The moon was orbiting the Earth just fine in 2007, and I never said otherwise. In fact, as I showed in those videos back then, this was expected given the trajectory that the stereo behind spacecraft took out of the Earth-Moon system. And yes, the moon was orbiting the Earth, and it was orbiting the Earth in my calculations, as I will cover tonight. First of all, here is the simulation I generated using ORSA, and you can see a white outline simulating the edge of the field of view of the core 2 imager and you can see that the moon was supposed to transit through the images and over the sun at the time that the spacecraft was leaving the earth moon system in february of 2007. overlaying the images taken by the stereo behind spacecraft with the images rendered in orsa we can see that it's a match and that the moon was supposed to be transiting through the images as seen Finally, here is an overhead view of the situation, with the stereo behind spacecraft starting off near the moon, where it got a gravity assist to help propel it out of the Earth-Moon system, and then you can see it's slowly moving away from the Earth-Moon system, but it's still in a highly elliptical Earth orbit, and this is because the eccentricity of the orbit relative to Earth is less than 1. Eventually, though, it does break free of Earth's gravity, and the eccentricity exceeds one, at which time it assumes a solar orbit around the Sun. You can see up at the top left corner the date, which is now on February 7th, and around February 20th is when the images from the Core 2 imager started to show the Moon entering the view. You can see the Moon coming back around. This is when it will enter the view, when it passes close to the Sun from the perspective of stereo behind. And right about here are where those images begin. And you can see that the moon is orbiting the Earth, but the stereo behind spacecraft is leaving the Earth-Moon system. So why don't you see Earth in the images? Because it was too far away from the sun, from the perspective of stereo behind. It was outside the field of view, much farther away from the sun than the moon was at that point. And we can actually figure out exactly where the Earth should have been relative to the field of view. Using the spreadsheet that I created in my previous videos about this, you can load up the center of the Earth in pixels in SAO Image DS9 and see where it was in relation to the Sun in the Core 2 images. The size of the Sun has been entered here, and we're assuming that the Sun is in the center of the field of view that's close enough for our purposes. And if we come into SAO Image DS9, we can see that the moon was supposed to transit through the view according to my spreadsheet, but if we zoom out, Earth was not supposed to be in the field of view. So you can see Earth on February 20th, 24th, and 28th. It's slowly getting slightly smaller, and it is not in the field of view. The moon is orbiting the Earth. It's not orbiting the sun in these images. Just because you can't see Earth in the field of view, doesn't mean that the moon has left Earth and is now orbiting the sun. It simply means that the Earth is outside the field of view. So that solves this mystery. Thanks for watching. Clear skies, folks.